On Wednesday this week, the President of Uganda announced the reopening of places of worship across the country, limiting them to only 200 people as per the COVID-19 standard operating procedures. Limit the number of worshippers at any one time to not more than 200, provided the place of worship can ensure physical distancing of two meters on either side and adequate aeration. Today, a cross-section of people from different areas stormed places of worship, including the Mrembe Cathedral, to give praise to the Almighty God. Being the first service of its kind since closure, worshippers first washed their hands before got in line to be checked with infrared thermometers. Hand sanitizer was also available in plenty. Inside the church, worshippers took the initiative to maintain social distance. A bench of eight people this time round was occupied by only two people. Preaching at the cathedral was led by Reverend Canon Jonathan Chisauzi, who was stunned by the few Christians who turned up for the first service since reopening. Someone was commenting that uh, man is always funny, wanting what is not. When it is uh, sunny, he wants it uh, rainy or cool, and when it is cool, he wants it hot. So when the churches were not open, people were uh, asking and crying for the churches to be open. But now that the churches are open, they are now, I believe that some are giving excuses that maybe uh, people will come in, 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 in big numbers and uh, there could not be uh, good uh, spacing. So uh, they did not turn up in, a, in a such a way, but all the same, we are thankful to God. Chisauzi spoke out on the increase in cases of domestic violence, especially during this time with the COVID-19 pandemic. People who are Christians, People who seemingly know God, but they can't uh, happily live or harmoniously live together. When they were sent home during the lockdown, we had the turbulence and there was just disturbances and people were almost killing each other. And actually some have killed their spouses just because they can't harmoniously live together. So we are calling upon the people of God to know and understand their calling that God is love and whoever abides in love abides in God and God in him. So we should always uh, bear with one another. The service at the Archbishop's residency was led by Reverend Canon Titus Baraka who emphasized the need for Christians to adhere to the standard operating procedures in order to avoid another closure. Worshippers who attended the service were happy with the reopening of places of worship. But I think when we fellowship together as Christians, we feel we are sharing a lot in common, and it is indeed a very great opportunity for us, even to reflect on the number of issues we've been going through during this lockdown. So the reopening of churches has made me very okay. I feel very okay, okay, okay. Even I had no money to come to church, but at least I tried my level best that I can visit the church because I was I was born a Christian and I will die a Christian. Story by Chris Semala Musemakola for PM Edition.